Creating a custom toolbar will allow you to group together the commands that you are using most often and have them at your fingertips. In order to create your own custom toolbar, you go under View, Customize, and here in the Toolbars tab, you will create a new one. So click on the New button and you can add a name of your own. So I can call it My Toolbar. You could have different toolbars. So you might want to have one for photo editing, scrapbooking, uh, text, whatever type of project you are using your paint shop for. And here you can see that little gray rectangle. This is the new toolbar. It is empty at this point, but we will add commands on that toolbar. So you can go now to the command tab and choose which command you would like to have accessible right away. So maybe you will want to have a new image. So you can click and drag this icon to your new toolbar. Maybe in the edit, you will want to have copy merged and you can add this one. Or you can go under other categories and maybe some other commands are going to be useful for you. So maybe I want to have brightness and contrast because I might use it often or maybe the levels. So you can add as many tools as you want on your toolbar. If after a while it gets too wide, you can narrow it and you can see how it will jump to more lines. So you can keep it like this. You can also add some scripts if you have already bound some scripts. So if you have a script that is bound, that is available here, you can click and drag it also on your new toolbar. And again, you adjust the width as you wish. With these icons, you might not necessarily remember what each of them actually is. Of course, you can hover over and you can see that little information being added. So that is one way. But if you actually want to have the text, you can also right click and go to image and text. And you can see how now you'll have the text. Let's do it on the second one, image and text, image and text. And here you have a toolbar with all the commands that you want with the icons and the text. If you prefer to have only the icons and have a smaller toolbar, that is fine too. It's really up to you. Now you can just close your customized dialog window and your toolbar is available. You can leave it floating or you can put it by double clicking and it will dock into your toolbars. If you are working on a project that does not need your custom toolbar, you can close it. If you want it back, it is always available under View, Toolbars, and here is my toolbar. So this is one way you can create your own toolbar and make your workflow easier and more suitable for your actual projects.